Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Auto Tutorials by Level Nation Studios. My name is Lydia and in this video I'm going to show you how to create UV for your characters in Blender 2.8. Let's get started. Creating UV for a character is similar to sewing a cloth. Um, before you sew a cloth, the first thing you do is lay down the pattern, then stitch them together with a sewing machine or a thread and or whatever. But for character, you already have the cloth, which is the character mesh. Now you need to flatten up the pieces. So if I go to edit mode, if I select the character and I go to edit mode, you see the flattening parts of the character. This is the face, the face, even though the face is looking round, yeah. If I select this, L select, you see the face is looking round, yeah, but in the UV layout, it's flattened. So that's the, that's the way sense of UV. And one thing is that you can actually not do it this way, going to the stress of adding seams, which these are the seams, this red line around the character, that's the demarcation of where you want the character UV to be splitted. So instead of going through the stress of adding seams, you can as well just select the, uh, the character by clicking on A, to select everything, go to U, U is the UV mapping menu and click on Smart UV Project. If I click on this, it will bring up this dialog um, box, which is the Smart UV Project by dialog. Then I'm going to leave it at the default and click on OK. So by clicking on this, you have this automated UV done for me. And I can as well just go to weight paint, uh, sorry, go to texture paint and start painting. But the problem with this is that, you no, know, immediately I painted the cheek. One is here, the other is there, and you can see something, it's messed up. So if you just want to do something fast, you can do this and just work in Blender or for any other character. But if you want to edit maybe the skin in using a third party software like Photoshop or Creator or um, Inkscape, you need to just lay it out well, just like what I show you here. Just like this. So this is easier, it's visually appealing to fix. So I know the cheek is here, this is a lips, a eyes and so on and so forth so that's the whole essence of going to the stress of adding seams and creating the uv so now to business i'm going to delete this uv and you can access the uv by coming to the object data property yeah then you scroll down to you see uv map so this is this uv here yeah, is stored here so i can just click on the minus button to delete it and to create a new one i can just click on plus to create a new one I'm going to create the um, the scene from scratch. So to delete all these scenes, select it, go to you, clear scenes. So I'm going to create it all over again. And one important thing I usually do is before I create my UV, before I rig the character or do all other sort of things. And that is because I usually create half of the UV then symmetrize the mesh copy the scene from the left hand part of the character to the right hand side of the character so now i'm going to isolate the character's mesh by clicking on the isolate button then i'll go to edit mode and start splitting so i'm going to start from the head downward so for the head i want the scene to be under the neck So I'm going to just alt, alt, alt click to select a loop. So I'm using alt click to select, then shift alt click to add the loop to the selected. So that's what I'm doing. Then U to max him. So I have the same here already. I, I'm not bothering with this other part because I'm going to symmetrize the mesh. So now for the year, just alt click U max him. Then I want to split the air around this part of the face. You max him. The reason why I'm doing this this way, some people just add the seam line here and just flatten the face that way. 
but the reason I do the frontal parts, I separate the frontal part on the back is because for the back of the head, there's really nothing much going on. So I usually make the UV of the back of the head smaller, then the frontal part of the head is always the biggest on the island. Each section of the UV is called island. So I'm going to continue to split this U maxim. To select some more points to the other, hold down control and click. It's going to select the shortest distance from where you click to the other parts. So for the head, I like to separate the mount, the mount bag from the face. So I just alt click you maxim, then the eye bag to you maxim. So now we're done with the face. To move to the torso, I'm going to add the seam on the shoulder. Click control, select the other end. You maxim like that. Now I'm going to add the same to the armpits to get to the wrist. You maxim now do with the wrist or click or down shift to add selection. You maxim now we are down to the palm. So I'm going to quickly just do this. I'm holding now control to do this. So we're done. So we usually add scenes to where it can easily be hidden. If you if you paint your character where the UV shouldn't matter, but it's best to put them where you can't easily see the UV seams where they won't be visible. So, but for this, what we have right now is okay for our character. So now to move to the body, just oh, let me add it here. There's no right way of doing it. What is right is what is perfect for your character. So there are different characters. So what works for your character is the right thing. So mark. So now to the lower part of the body. So add the same here. I'm holding down control. U maxim. Now we split the legs from left to right with this seam right in the middle. So now I want to split the front from the back. So I'm going to add the seam here. To the ankle. You maxim. Now to the ankle, I'm going to select this by holding out alt to select the loop. Then you maxim now to the fit i'm going to just divide it like this and mm, do this So we are almost done. So you max him. Now I'm going to materialize the mesh to mirror the UV from the left hand side to the right hand side. So I'm going to select the mesh Q to access my quick favorite and symmetralize. So now it's materialized from the positive, which is this, to the negative. If you work here, you can materialize from this part of the mesh to the other part by just changing the direction of your character. So now we have our UV seams well done. So the next thing to do now is to create the UV in the UV on the UV map. So just 
click on punch on the U button, which will bring up the UV mapping dialog box. Then click on unwrap. Uh, oh, I've not splitted the leg in the middle, so that is giving me this. So just select this and move down. You can also do it in the UV window by just shift selecting or you hold down alt to select the loop so you can come here maxim so can do the same thing for this alt to select this you maxim so now i'm going to run the uv again uv unwrap so now i have my uv well did that Another step I usually do is scale up the face and probably the palm of the character since that's where most of the concentration will be on the hands and the face. So I select the face of the character by going to the face mode, then click on L to select the um the island. Each of these is called a UV island. So to select this island, I just click on L to select the island, then S to scale it up and rotate it. So I want the face, the face facing me, and I want the body to to face me, to face straight, uh, vertical, to to be vertical. Then this two. So. So this is the back of the head. So I can scale this down if I want. So, since we won't really use it then select the whole island by punching on the a key and go to uv pack island so it's going to repack the island for me so come to uv pack island it's resetting my rotation so come to the um to the pack island dialog and uncheck rotation so it's going to retain my rotation you can click here to work on the margin so I just reduce or add or increase the margin between each island but i just leave it at default so i can still scale this down uv park island so we are done with the uv sets now you can just easily um paint your uv uh, uh, paint your character so you can just give it anything you want I just come here change the color yeah so that's it for this video thank you for watching don't forget to like the video subscribe to level notion studios if you've not done so click on the notification bell to get notified every time we upload videos like this and until next time stay true to your creativity bye bye